right, good, good morning and welcome to everybody. Uh, I have a brief statement that I'd like to make this morning. You know, last week, NGA Director Robert Cordillo made his preference uh, for St. Louis, uh, made public his preference for St. Louis to be the site of his agency's next new headquarters. As his justification, he cited a city that is more likely to attract and retain, also engage and entertain, the sort of employees that NGA is going to need over the next several decades. His words were heartening. That is exactly the type of city that I and a very talented team have been working to build now for many years. Although St. Louis is still very recognizably the city that I have represented in one elected position or another since 1985, it is also a city that is slowly won back some of its swagger as a place to start a business, to raise a family, or to walk or ride a bike to work. I love what we're becoming. This past week, city voters were presented with an opportunity, opportunity to go into a different direction, to start down a 10-year path that it was, would have seen the city inevitably leave some people behind. Since rich people almost always turn out okay, the intended victims were easy to guess. City voters, by an overwhelming percentage and in the face of the most expensive negative campaign ever mounted here, refused to go along. <clears throat> Election night on Tuesday was one of my proudest moments as mayor. It was also one of my final nights staying up late worrying about election returns. I will not be a candidate for mayor next year. To forestall some questions, this is not a goodbye. I'm going to be mayor for another year. I will have a full and likely controversial agenda to pursue and complete. My health is fine. I told my family last night, I told my city hall staff this morning, I do not have pl plans for what I will be doing next. Hillary Clinton has not asked me to be a running mate. <laughs> St. Louis Football Club has not named me its manager. I have not ruled out a plan to run for another public office. I do have almost $1 million in my campaign account, and I probably will be doing some fundraising for issues as we go forward. I do not have uh, much more to say, uh, but I will tell you that I have no intention of leaving early, which will mean there will be vigorous primaries in March of 2017. I have not endorsed a successor, although I might. Uh, this is this is much as what I, I wanted to tell you this morning, and uh, I wanted this to be simple. Uh, I did not want this to be an extended eulogy. I wanted it to be a simple announcement. If you have particular questions that uh, I have not answered, please email Maggie, and I'm sure she will be happy to get back to you. But I can assure you, I will see you all very soon. I'll be I'll be around Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and beyond that because I plan to be mayor for the next year and we plan to get a whole heck of a lot of things done between now and then. Thank all of you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You know,